Today I thought we can take a look at the new model from Mistral, OCR, yeah, that is optical character recognition. So this means that we can use this to extract uh, text from documents, so PDFs, images, so pretty interesting use case. Uh, I looked at this and it seems pretty cheap. I thought it was like $1 for around 1000 pages. And that seems pretty reasonable. They also have some highlights here. Of course, this is from Mr. Alder himself. Uh, state of the art understanding of complex documents, natively multilingual and multimodal, top tier benchmark, fastest in category. And they have published on benchmarks here. That is pretty strong. But again, benchmarks, yeah, I don't really know, but uh, they look pretty good. So I just want to try this out. Uh, let's take a look at an example here. So here you can see they have up uploaded an image of a paper of Mistral 7B. So if you do like this, this is what we get when we run this to the OCR model. So pretty impressive. Uh, but I think we're just going to get into the code. We wrote some code here from the documentation that can take an image or a PDF as input and turn it into a markdown output. So we're gonna try a few things. We're gonna combine it with another model that can utilize what we get out from the OCR model. So let's just do a few tests and see if this is something we're gonna use further in future videos, maybe using agents combining with this model. So it could be pretty interesting. So yeah, let's try it out. So let's start with a PDF here. So you can see we can do OCR with PDFs. We're basically just gonna upload the PDF and we're gonna, we can also do a URL for the PDF but I download my PDF uh, in this case. So this is the PDF we're gonna do. Let's verify step by step. You can see it's a pretty big paper. And then I'm just gonna run my code here. You can see we run python mistraocrp.py and we point to our PDF file here in our downloads folder. We do an output where we want to put the OCR verify.md in my cursor folder here. So let's just run this now and then we can kind of check out the result. So you can see we uploaded this and successfully received a OCR response. You can see how fast that was. And if we go here now and we do like a verify preview. Yeah, you can see here. Let's verify step by step. And basically everything here is now in Markdown. So yeah, I'm not gonna double check everything here, but it looks pretty strong. And here we kind of have it just in the Markdown format without the preview, you can see, yeah. A lot of text here. How many lines is this? Yeah, it's about uh, yeah 500 lines or something with text. So pretty cool. And you can see kind of how fast it was. Uh, that is also something that is uh, quite impressive if you ask me. So now that we kind of have our markdown, we can of course work more with this. So I also set up like a, just a simple, simple script here. We can actually work with this markdown. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I also wanted to do an image. So let me find the image I have here. So here we just have this image of a bill for a student billing statement from MIT or something, scholarship. Yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna be this bill I found on the web here. So let's try to turn this image into, yeah, use the OCR model from Mistral and turn this into like text or markdown. So let's just clear this and let's do, uh, I think I have this. So build PNG to build2.md, okay, so let's run that. And that was that, that was very quick. So you can do build2md, and here we have it. We can also preview this, I guess. And you can see, this is the statement. So I checked these numbers, and yeah, they look pretty good. So this means that we can now work with this, right? So we can actually put this into context in our LLM. So I wrote this code here and I just, uh, we set this variable here, OCR, we're gonna open bill, let's do bill2.md. I'm just gonna read the text, uh, but we're gonna feed this as context. So we're gonna do from the bill above in simple terms, explain what I should pay now and why, right? So we use this and uh, extract the OCR from the image as context here. So if we go here, we clear this, we do python, what did I call it? Python mistral.py, okay. So you can see we are sending the prompt. We are probably getting a response here from mistral large. Yeah. So you can see from the billing statement provided, here's a simple explanation, what you should pay now. Good, that is the amount to pay. Why? This is the total charges. And after subtracting the scholarship for total charges, the remaining amount is due. 
due date, so you need to pay, right? So now you can see we used the, um, the context from the OCR extraction into a new response, so we can do some, yeah, work a bit more with what we created. So we basically just took this image, turned it into text or markdown, and then we used it as context. So I think this could be some pretty use, cool use cases, adding this OCR model into some agentic workflows, but that's gonna be for another video. Uh, but let's also try to set up this uh, code here and change up the F string here to take in our PDF and just write a simple summary, maybe extract some URLs. Let's try a few different things here. So let's just set this to verify.md, okay. So we're gonna feed in the extracted text. Uh, let's do another prompt here. Yeah, we can do this. From the text above, extract the names of the authors of the paper. So just a simple text, test. And we can also add in only return the names. No other text. So let's try that. So let's clear this and let's just run it again and see if we only get the authors from the paper now. Yeah, perfect. Here we got all the, so you can see, okay, we got John Schulman and Ilya Sutskever in like one line, but other than that, it was pretty good. So a pretty quick use case. So let's do extract the main findings uh, of the paper and explain it in two sentences um, to a non-experienced, non-expert. Let's try that, okay? So let's, yeah, I don't need to clear this. We can run this again. So let's see if we can get like a simple explanation of the full paper now. So you can see the paper demonstrates that using process supervision, which involves feeding feedback at each step of the task, is significantly more effective than outcome supervision. So you can see it basically, yeah. I think this was a pretty good use case uh, for the Mr. Large model when we have the OCR result. So pretty interesting stuff, uh, but I wanna give it one more challenge. So I went ahead and I found uh, this image. So here you can see we have this handwritten image. Uh, I can kind of read this. Hello, Rachel. It was a pleasure seeing you again at the open house the other week. So I can read this, no problem. But let's see if Mistral uh, OCR can actually read this letter here. And uh, so let's open this and let's do, let's swap out this with hand PNG and let's run it. Again, very quick. So hand.md. Uh, windswept, was that correct? So let's compare this. So it says windswept, yeah, that's okay, so. Uh, hello, Rachel, it was a pleasure seeing you again at our open house the other week. Yeah, that's correct. You're always the first person I think of when I'm out networking and building relationships. Uh, yeah, that's good. Please let us know if we can be a resistant to anyone you know. Uh, see you soon, Blaine. That was wrong, so this was supposed to be Diane. But other than that, it was pretty good. So not too bad at uh, analyzing handwriting. We didn't get kind of the, the bottom stuff here. Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty good, not too bad. So that is also an interesting use case, actually using this on, um, on handwriting. But I can see very uh, a lot of cases where this could go wrong. But if it's just like small misspellings, uh, uh, if you use an LLM like we did here, uh, these LLMs kind of understand small spelling errors. But if it's like huge errors that kind of numbers and stuff, that could be a problem. Uh, but it is pretty interesting, to be honest. So that was the Mistral OCR model. Definitely go try it out. Uh, we're gonna do maybe some future videos where we kind of introduce AI agent, agentic workflow, where we can implement this OCR model to do some processing on some documents our agent can go and download. So that is gonna be in a future video. Other than that, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, have a great weekend and I'll see you again very soon.